my goal is to try to get people who can't understand where we're coming from, where where, where you see what's going on in the world right now. I, I panicked a little bit. <laughs> hey man, it brings back it brings back the old days. But I was always ready to go. Anytime you show up to the party with this, it better be drinkable. So yo, here we come with the second movie review that we're gonna do. Um, we're back to it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, we went a little overboard on the first one, so you know, we'll try to we'll try to clean it up a bit here. Um, I got the luxury of selecting a, a movie to review, and if you know me, I, I tried to be as obscure as I possibly could with it. Um, so I found a movie on Netflix, um, free to stream. It's called The Platform. And really quick, I just got to say this. Mm -hmm. You were thinking this was going to be like a four-week, like four romantic comedy, or not Full, not yeah. romantic, chick flicks, I think you were starting with. Yeah, and then you guys made it clear and that that was not the criteria. And you went way other end. I went the, as far away from that as we possibly could. And I appreciate that. Uh, so just a disclaimer, this movie is extremely gory um, in some parts. Um, it's kind of slow, uh, slow starting, and then and then it just kind of takes off. But anyway, uh, so this, uh, I mean, there's going to be spoilers, so you guys just, you know... Bear with it. It's not the movie that it's not like great written where you're like, oh man, I'm so into it. But basically, the main character is kind of a guy, um, and he wants to quit smoking. So he um, he enrolls himself in this this company that basically has a giant vertical building. Um, and in this building, there's different levels. Obviously, it's a vertical building, um, and it's just basically a room for each level. And uh, the only way you eat is that there's a platform that comes down in the middle. So you understand while the platform's all the way up, you, there's a hole all the way through the middle of the room, all the way down. Uh, the platform comes down to each level, stops at each level, you get to eat. Um, this guy, like I said, he wants to quit smoking, and apparently you get some sort of a degree at the end of it if you, you make it out. I don't know what kind of degree, but some sort of degree, whatever, right? Um, so the first thing I noticed, um, oh, I, I don't know if I made it clear, but so the platform comes down, there's food on the platform. That's how you eat, yeah, I, Whatever. First thing I noticed is, okay, it's a foreign film, so it's not in English initially. So you got to turn subtitles on or um, voiceovers, and they are terrible. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, God, this is so bad. And if you have subtitles and voiceover, you're like, they're, they're not even saying what they're supposed to. You know what I mean? Or they didn't write what they were supposed to write. I have no idea. But, yeah, so you follow the main character. He gets in there. He gets in a room with some old dude. Um, old dude at first is just real mellow, chilling. He hanging out. And then, uh, you know, uh, the the smoking guy is like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to eat anything. I'm like, you know, it's kind of like in jail. He's like, yeah, I'm good. And then uh, one day, uh, smoking dude or the older dude decides, you know what? I'm going to tie this motherfucker up. Homeboy uh, wakes up. I wish I remember their names, but they're they foreign names. Like they were... Uh, Nothing like it's not like John and Bill. Yeah, it's like uh, Mr. Tag Tagasi and the other one's like Gregong or something. Gregong, or Gregong, some shit. I don't know. So I'm gonna call him Smoking Dude and Old Dude. <laughs> you know, um, Old Dude ties him up to the bed, and everything, and he basically lets him know, like, hey, I have a knife, okay? And he's telling him, like, hey, and the, so again, I guess I should specify. It. So it's, there's level one through level thirty three. Again, there's one platform that comes down once a day with food on it. That food is to go to everyone all the way down. However... Level 333. 333, yeah. So if you're level one, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You start getting down level 30, less food's available because people have already consumed it. By the time you get to level 50, you can, you can forget it. You're not going to eat anything. Um, and the majority of the levels aren't going to eat anything. And they start off in like 128 or something. Hold on. You're, you're, all, you're all off. All right. So basically, the platform obviously, like I said, goes down. So the beginning, top levels, they got all the food they want. They don't give a fuck about the bottom level. The bottom. So and he wakes up on floor forty eight. Oh, it's the forty eight. So the guy, the old guy, tells him like, "This is a good floor. Yeah. Like it's not too low. It's not too oh, high. Yeah, there yeah. should be food left." So they start on forty eight. Um, and the as far as the old guy knows, he's been on one seventy eight. Yeah. So he's been down there where there's no food. So he knows what it is. He knows what, what it is down below. And he keeps telling him, like, you should be glad, lucky that you're here. Yeah. Um, and then also at, once a month, though, everyone switches floors. So next month, uh, and there's like a gas that knocks you out, so you don't even know what's happening. You just wake up and you're in the next, you're in wherever they put you. So the next month goes by, they wake up on like floor 148 or some shit. You know, like they're... It's like 171 or something. Yeah, they're not getting food is the point. And so the old dude's telling him, like, you need to understand. 
things are going to get crazy in here. You're not going to understand. You know what I mean? Like, you're not ready for this. Dude goes to sleep, wakes up, he's tied up. Old dude standing over him telling him, hey, yeah, um, basically, you're young, I'm old, I don't trust you. Things are going to happen here. Your mind's going to start messing with you. And he goes, and maybe I'll get hungry. And then it hits you like, oh, he's going to eat this dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what's going on. Um, the, the, the old guy had two months on two months left when they went down to 171. So he had to survive 171. But what he couldn't afford is most people don't survive two consecutive bad floors yeah. in a row. And he said, once there's no food, you start everybody starts turning on each other. So he ties them up. So the guy wakes up and on 171. It's his second month in. And he's already tied to the bed. The old guy is going to eat him. Yeah. He's like, hey, I, I, but I'm going to do it humanely. I'm only going to slice off enough of you so that I'm good and you're. I'm going to feed it You'll to live. you as well. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. He's like, we'll live and I'm going to be humane about it. Yeah. So the guy ties him up and he, he waits a week and then he said, it's time. He's like, I can't think straight. <laughs> I yeah. can't like. So he's, I was trying to read. I'm trying I to read. Make I, out the I, words. I can't see. Yeah. I can't. He's like, I, I got to eat. Are you ready? So he starts cutting him. Next thing you know, he gets hit over the head. And then he has, he pretty much, um, he gets hit over the head by this girl, right? This girl, she's searching for her kid the whole movie. So she's riding the platform down. Yeah. So she's on her way down. She hits him over the head. And then he ends up getting free and cutting, killing that dude. And then he ends up the one who has to eat him to survive. Yeah. So he's eating him. And all of a sudden he starts seeing visions of the old man talking to him like look it you're just like i'm i'm in, in you um, yeah and he's like and but the worst part is i was more humane about it yeah, yeah, yeah. you are sitting there just eating me and uh it, it's a it's a it's a crazy movie I, w- I will say i watched it in spanish with english subtitles for two reasons one i hate when they overdub oh yeah it was that bad. like I, I i just hate that the other thing is i watched it with crystal and she always likes to watch movies that are in Spanish and Spanish because it's her native language. So yeah. she prefers it that way. And I kind of do too because I feel like that's how the film was made. So I, I and I'm okay reading the subtitles. I kind of like it because I'm hard of hearing. So um, I actually hate when people are talking during the movie and I can't read what they're saying still. Yeah. So we wa- I watch. So basically, it's a crazy movie. There's so much symbolism in this movie. Right. It's so if we can just touch on the symbolism a little bit, I thought it was a good metaphor for you know, uh, at least if nothing else, for American society, right? If you're in the top levels, um, and and one of the things the old guy kept saying was like, Yeah, they don't give a fuck about you, they'll piss on your food, they'll do it just to spite you. I thought it was good symbolism to show in, in American culture that it, it kind of that's kind of how it's perceived, you know what I mean? It's like, Hey, I'm up here, I don't really have to care, I could, I could just waste food, I can kind of uh splurge on it one of the main themes of it was there's enough food on the platform every day for everyone to eat if you ration it there is enough however no one's willing to ration it because everyone's like oh well i was down there and you didn't care so now i don't care about you um so i thought it was really good at kind of having a way to visualize that that concept and and you said the movie starts slow i think it starts pretty fucking fast and i was happy about that yeah, you know, I mean, I just felt like in the, initially they were just kind of talking. He's just like reading his book. He didn't want to eat. They weren't really doing a whole lot. Yeah. And then, and then it, yeah. Yeah. It was like a good 15, 20. Well, uh, I guess that's, was, that's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. It was know? like 10 minutes. They were already eating off the platform together. So I thought, okay. I thought it at least it went, moved, it moved pretty fast. There was two, two things that I liked that, um, in the dialogue that was cool. One was initially when he met the old guy for the first time. He went over to shake his hand, and the old guy looked at him. He said, "Like he's like, go on your get side away of the from room. me." He's like, go, "Go to your side of the room." He yeah. didn't want to shake his hand. He didn't want to. He, he's like, he didn't want to fucking be personal with him at all. So he's like, "Get away from me!" Like, and it was very like cordial that the way they were talking. But he's like, "Go over there. Like, go on your side. Don't don't come over here." And then the other thing he said, um, because the guy who was smoking, he was trying to talk to the people below him. And then he started talking to the people above him, and the old guy was pissed. He's like, don't talk to them. And then when he did talk to the bottom, the old guy got up and just started pissing down the hole. Like, no, we're not friendly. Like, fuck you. Um, So he started pissing down the hole, and then he he was mad at him because he was trying to shout up to the hole. And I think that's also symbolism for how we view like different tiers, especially in America, where you're not, you don't associate with the lower levels. You don't, you're not really part of that upper club. 
and it, it kind of broke things down. So I kind of like those two scenes specifically for for that dialogue and those the, the kind of like symbolism that was in it. Uh, it was it was a I actually thought it was a good movie. Yeah, I enjoyed I the movie. It. Um, overall, I I it kept me interested. Um, it, it, there was enough going on. Like I said, it, it gets pretty gory. There's some scenes in there where it's, it's kind of a lot. Um, but I did think it. It did a good job of kind of keeping you watching it, right? Like, you didn't get to the point. Like, a lot of times I'm watching movies, and I'm just kind of, like, on my phone, and I'm, like, glance up, and I'm, like, I don't care. Um, I was definitely, like, oh, shit, uh, what's going on? You know what I mean? Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I, I, I really did just think it was a good metaphor for that. Um, and then um, I, I, later on in the movie, um, so, you know, he kills the old guy, whatever. So once somebody dies, you get a new, like, we'll call him roommate, right? Um, gets this chick, and she was like, oh, yeah, I was, a part of the, I was a part of the company that does this. And, you know, she thought it was all good. Um, and I think you can even look at that, like, as in a government aspect, right? Like, you work for the government or something like that. And until you have to go and deal with the things that you thought were good in place, and then now, now you're actually dealing with it sometimes. Not for everything, but sometimes. And then you're kind of like, oh, shit. You know, this, this isn't really beneficial. It isn't what you thought. Um, but people are so out of touch with it that they don't even know, right? That you're contributing to it. But you don't really know until you set yourself up. So let's say you work for, like, a, a prison system or something. Um, but you, you know, you do, like, finances. So you don't really know. You think, oh, these people are all this and whatever. And then until, uh, actually, she she came in. Everybody gets to bring an item with them. And people bring whatever the fuck I... And that, that that's one of my knocks on the movie is that it wasn't really clear like were these like people that have broken uh, cr committed crimes uh, the the one guy that we know volunteered to go in the chick that went in also kind of volunteered to go in she she was uh, terminally ill so she was like she thought she could help make a difference in there or whatever well no the only the only thing that was unclear is that the guy signed up for the program because he was promised an accredited accredited diploma. And, and he, he to quit smoking. And he saw it as a dual edged sword to right. quit smoking. The old guy that was in his cell actually threw a TV out, out of the window and killed someone. They offered him yeah. two options psychiatric ward or a certain amount of time in the pit. Well, it just seems like you're going to go to psych ward. Right. You know, so, it, and on top of that, the old guy wasn't promised a diploma. So that wasn't, that was well, yeah, specific was about it, yeah. to that one guy. So people were in there for probably various reasons. Right. But it, but I think all in a, an attempt to fix them because the the girl in there with the dog she yeah. kept saying um, it's supposed to be like a rehab a spontaneous act of solidarity is what it required yeah and it's supposed to teach you to care so what happened is when he got that roommate with the dog the the, the female who worked for the the administration as they referred to it she when the platform would hit her since she brought her dog in she would trade days off with her and the dog as a means to not steal food from the people below. So she would trade off there. She would also fix two plates for the next level down and tell them, hey, I fixed you guys two plates enough to survive. Do the same and pass it forward. Yeah. And everybody was like, fuck you, you know? Yeah. yeah. So the guy that was her, you know, the smoker, he was like, hey, guys, if you guys don't start doing what she's telling you, I'm going to shit all over your food. I'm going to piss all over it and you're not going to have anything. <laughs> so they started doing it. So she was like, what the hell? I was trying to take the nice approach. I was trying to... Trying to help them and try to explain to them, but and you're like fucking telling them you're gonna shit on their food and they listen. Like, what the fuck is going on here? So right. she was she was puzzled by that. But again, it's symbolism. Kind of, it's kind of says something there, right? Like you have to have some sort of threat in order to get somebody to kind of take heed to what you're saying. Um, which is kind of shady, you know what I mean? You would think people would kind of just see the good in it and kind of just go with the flow. Um, but I think it's I think it's a reality too. I think um until you threaten somebody with something, you have something that you can either take away from them or, or some means of making them uncomfortable. Um, nobody really gives a shit. Um, and it's kind of, um, I'm here for me and mine, you know? So that was a good way to put that. Great, also, great music, too. I, d I dug the music. I don't recall the music, if I'm being it's Very, honest, very intense and, yeah. and suspenseful. I should have paid more attention. But yeah. I, yeah, it was good. Fa favorite scene? Uh, favorite scene? Um, or sequence. It could be any. I'm probably gonna have to go with um, initially when, uh, when, fuck for me, <laughs> like it's gonna be the most gory shit I could think of. Um, I did think it was. Um, I liked when they were coming down the platform, 
right? Yeah, like, and I, I, there was a lot of stuff with it. They were they were trying to protect one item. They were trying to send a message. They were doing it. I would I would I at least the way I think the movie was trying to sell it was for the greater good of everyone in there. Um, they were trying to send a message to the administration um, that what they're doing is not working, right? Um, and they had this one dish that they were trying to protect. Um, ultimately, plans changed, and I think they found a better a better message to send. Um, but I think their way down. Um, um, and and one and one scene in particular is when uh, the black gentleman says uh, to the to the room above him, which what, what kind of kicked it off, and he's like, "Hey, look, I have this rope. I'm gonna throw it up. Like, help me, pull me up." And I'll come up there, and they're like, "Okay, yeah, yeah." And it's like a husband and wife, and uh, so he starts climbing up the rope, and the fucking wife runs up to the edge and just shits in his fool's face, dude, <laughs> like legit, all right. And he's pretty pissed off, but I think that was the thing. Like you know, like he had done nothing wrong to them or anything, and then they 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 reacted that way, and I think it that's what got him to understand like it, it's fucked, and I I want to do something, you know what I mean, to kind of get out of this. Like not necessarily just for himself either, because that that wasn't how he took it. He was like, this place is terrible, so that'd probably be mine. Yeah, uh, I think I think my favorite scene is or a little sequence was because they know when they're gonna change rooms. They know because there's a, a gas smell. Yeah. So they know, okay, this is our last night. So he, the first month he was in there with the old guy, he, they had this whole montage of him and the old guy reading and laughing and fucking around. There was some nudity in there. Like it was like they were just like having a great fucking time, right? They weren't fucking each other. But uh, <laughs> I'm just saying like they were just having a great time. And then the guy was laying on the bed and he's like, hey, do you believe in God? And he's like, no, why? And he's like, well, if you do, I would just want you to pray for us. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I really like you. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I really have come to be fond of you. And everything's like, everything's red, right? The room is red and they're laying in bed and he's like, we're going to wake up tomorrow and who knows where we'll be. But I really just want you to know, I really like you. <laughs> then he wakes up and he's just bound to the bed. And the one item that this old man brought is a samurai plus. Yeah. Knife, yeah. self sharpening knife. Yeah. The more you use it, the sharper it yeah. is. So he has this knife the whole time they're even doing the montage. But until that moment, he's bound to the bed. It wasn't a threat. It, it was at a point, but they become friends for that month, right? And I just like that that turn of the movie where it's like, oh fuck, they're on level one seventy one. There's no food. You're tied to the bed, and it led into the scene where he's like, I'm gonna have to eat you at some point. Yeah. Just it's part of you. And I think that was like a the, a turn that was like oh shit, well that's how life can can present itself, right? Agreed. And I and I think it was interesting in the same scene when he does wake up that initially uh, the, the gentleman that brought the book is a little shocked and you know obviously upset, um, and then um, you know he, he's kind of just worried about him trying to preserve himself, right? Like hey, there's no way that you can uh, mutilate me, like cut a piece of me open, and I'm gonna live in here. Um, and then, like like you mentioned earlier, as soon as kind of the tables turned, um, it was like he understood where he was coming from. Like, yeah, uh, maybe not, but if I'm going to get out, then that's it. And I think, I mean, you know, it's like a uh, what is it? Don't uh, don't corner an animal or whatever. You know, you fight or flight, right? You get put in a position where like okay, this is it. This is the only way. People, I think, will do some crazy things and. And again, the takeaway, I, th I think the message of it was just kind of like, again, if you, everyone could just be like, oh, yeah, I'll just eat enough to, I'll be okay. You know, maybe I'm a little hungry, but I'll be fine. <laughs> and, it, and you know what tripped me out was that they had, they had like Michelin star chefs upstairs making the food that was coming down, dude. Like it was just top notch food, a whole, like a whole kitchen, you know what I mean? Just going and making this food. And, 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 and that, to, to go to people that are just literally hand to mouth in it, you know what I mean? Didn't give a shit about what it was, just pigging out. Um, what a waste, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, ultimately, man, the movie's ending to me was the worst aspect of it. Um, and 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 this is why I, I get how it goes, but I, I just was like, okay, so what happened? You know, like I and and I was left with like I don't like movies that leave it like that. Sometimes it's okay, but it's like Inception, you know? You're watching like, okay, was he fucking dead or not? You know what I mean? Like, is this real? Was he dreaming? I don't know. And this one kind of did the same. Like, I was like, did he did he make it? Did he not? What was it? I don't know. I like the end only because I like endings like that. 
specifically with these movies that are like like interpretive, only because I'm still sitting on it. Like I'm still waiting to figure out what my brain thinks of the end. Yeah, I don't like that. Like I have an idea of what it re- what I, what I think it means, and what I think it means is that. I mean, the motherfucker walked into the darkness with hmm. with, with Mr. Ter- Tagasi yeah. or whatever his name was. So my like soul, you know, and that dude's dead. So he probably faded to the black, and he wasn't part of the solution. He wasn't part of the message. And I think that's kind of like well, that's what he tells him too. Like you, you are. It is not the message, but I, I forget what it was called. He's like, you're not the message. The yeah, child's yeah, the message. She, it doesn't need you. Yeah, the message I, doesn't need you. Right, and I think it's symbolism too for how you know the children are the future of of everything. You know, so. I think that it was a good... I, I actually was very surprised. I like mo- movies that are good, especially movies that are, you know, with directors and, and people who are writers. I'll give this movie 10 points for originality. And oh, yeah, creative. Yeah. We, we're, we live in the age of, like, recycling movies and, and yeah. reboots and totally, totally uh, original I like the fact that that is a movie that I have never seen. I've never seen that kind of shit. I've never seen it laid out like that. I've never seen the story like that. I think the I think the the angles were good. I, I'm I'm very much into like how they shoot the movies. I th- I thought the the cinematography was good. I thought um, the the script was good. I thought the acting was great. I I really dug the movie. So I'm a fan of this one. Have, have you seen Old Boy? No, I don't think so. Check it out. Okay. There's two versions. Spike Lee did one. What's the other one? Uh, Josh Brolin's in the one with Spike Lee. Um, I'd watch the original though. It's similar to this. Uh, it's definitely they're definitely not the same movie, but similar. Like I, I think you'd be interested. In, that'd be a good one to to do mm-hmm. on here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fucking it's it's dark though, dude. <laughs> You're like holy shit, dude. Um, but anyway, um, so overall, man, what do you think about the movie? What do, what do you what do you give it? I mean, you said you like it, but like let's I, say I'll give it an eight. An eight. Um, I'd say, okay, look, um, the, I, I'm not going to knock it for the voiceovers because, I, you know, it's a foreign film. So whatever. It is what it is there. Um, it had a wiener dog in it. I'm fond of them. Um, so, but then the wiener dog was killed. Yeah. Um, so that was a little, you know, I was like, wow, <laughs> fuck me. Right. Um, it had some scenes in it that I thought were like odd. And you're just kind of like, what is this for? Like, why did they have that? There was two guys in the pool. Like they had a pool and they were just sitting in the pool together, and I was like, "Well, why?" <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, but then they're doing that piece of meat. It was kind of funny to watch. Them <laughs> yeah, on each yeah, other, like, like immediately. Yeah, they sure did. Um, but yeah, you know what? I, I I'm okay with. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm not gonna give it an eight. Only, um, yeah, I, I have my reasons. Um, I guess um, it, it wasn't. It, it was a good movie. Um, like I said, it just. I, I don't I don't want to give it an eight. I, I don't really you know what I mean. I can't really break it down too much for you why I don't, but I just don't. Okay. Um, I would definitely encourage people to watch it though. Yeah. If you can if you can kind of uh, you're okay with watching that kind of thing. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fucking people getting killed. So I was in you know, but uh, yeah, yeah. give yeah. it a seven. Okay, that, that's that's pretty good rating. But yeah. um, I will encourage you guys to watch it. We got um. Travis and Anthony sitting right here can't can't be part of the conversation because they didn't watch the movie. They didn't watch Don't the movie. Don't be like them. Yeah. Uh, make sure you guys go check it out. It's very interesting, and if you can handle and stomach that kind of goriness, um, and, and goriness in, t- in terms of people eating other people, yeah, then go ahead and feel free to watch it. I think it's a good movie, but um, let us know what you think about it. Yeah, and and definitely, you know, man, I I always kind of. Like, I enjoy kind of trying to find stuff on Netflix that everyone isn't watching or doesn't know about or whatever. Um, and so I think I, my, I'm going to try to make sure that we we can kind of bring that kind of thing to the table and get the people to kind of find something out there. So if, fuck you, you know what it is. You watch the same series six times. I just got done watching The Punisher again. So you know, check that one out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, so definitely to how to how with Netflix is top ten. It's irrelevant. Find some shit. Yeah, they got some okay ones on there sometimes. Yeah, and they're just pushing it. They're like a Nick Cage one on there now. And I was like, no, I, I, <laughs> I refuse it. All right. All right, guys. Until next time. All right. Thanks, man.